Hey everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video here I'll be showing you how to properly flame weed. I will be going over the benefits in a moment, but first I'll start with the safety and operation of the torch which is used for this. Here I have a propane torch which connects to a 20 pound propane tank such as what is found on a barbecue. The end of the torch where the flame is will become very hot as shown by the burnt off paint. This is an area you don't want to touch. When the torch is off, you'll need to allow it to cool down before it's put away. The supply pipe that goes back to the control valve, you can hold it on the valve base or on the pipe as both these areas stay cool. There is a 10 foot hose which connects the wand to the tank. Always make sure it's in good condition and there's no damage present. Otherwise this can be a serious safety concern. The fittings which connect the tank is a left handed thread. So it's opposite as what you may find on common bolts, screws, etc. Make sure the valve is closed on the torch, then connect the line. Being that this is a left handed thread, in order to tighten it, you'll need to turn it in a counterclockwise direction. Tightening using a wrench or adjustable wrench. If it's an adjustable wrench, make sure it is tight on the connection. Being that this is brass, you can damage the hex easier. Open the valve slowly and then you should see the hose move as it builds up pressure. You can use a spray bottle with soap and water mixture to inspect for any leaks in the connections. Once the pressure builds up for a moment, then open up the valve on the tank fully. If you listen closely here, when the valve on the tank is open too fast, it'll trigger a check valve which closes off the propane supply. If you wait a moment, the check valve may shut off on its own, or you'll need to turn off the valve on the tank, then bleed off the pressure from the torch. Close it, and then open the tank valve slowly. Once the pressure is built up in the line and the tank valve is fully opened, only open the valve a small amount on the torch, then using a torch striker, light the propane. The flame size can be adjusted by the valve on the torch, the bigger the flame, the hotter it'll be. However, with a bigger flame, the quicker the supply of the propane will be used up. To shut off the flame, it can be turned off by the torch valve. But if you're done with the torch, what I prefer to do is burn off the gas in the line by turning off the tank first. Allow the flame to get extremely small, then turn off the torch valve and disconnect the line. Next is moving on to burning. This can be used in large areas such as sand, soil, clay, and even paving stones, gravel, etc. When the torch is on, adjust the flame to your preference. Hold the end about 4 inches away from the ground at an angle. The distance will depend on how the flame is set, then continue to burn the vegetation. This method can be used on both weeds and grass. It's best to use it on days after a recent rain where the ground isn't excessively dry as this can be a fire hazard. Have a watering can, hose or fire extinguisher close by just as a safety precaution. The style of these torches can vary between manufacturers and they usually aren't overly expensive. The tank is placed in an area so the hose doesn't get overextended where I can pull over the tank and work in a radius from the tank. I prefer to work in an outward direction pushing the flame forward. Always keep the flame away from the hose and tank. This is a great natural way of controlling weeds. You don't have to deal with any harsh chemicals and it's a commonly used method in organic farming. The flame only needs to be held for less than a second over the weed in order to kill the above ground portion of the weed. You should notice the leaves of the plant changing color and finish. For my method, it does take slightly longer. However, from my experience, it does last longer and any plant with a shallower root system tends to not come back. I prefer to burn the top portion of the plant fully. This heats up the ground enough where the shallow root system becomes damaged as well. It's best to do this when the plants are still young as the root system won't be as big. Therefore, it's easier to burn. With only the top portion of the plant damaged and not completely burned, this does have the potential of killing the root system as the leaves aren't able to absorb light in order to develop the plant. This is called photosynthesis. When you've reached the maximum length of the hose, then move the tank. The ground usually cools off quicker, however any stones or rocks can remain hot for a short period of time so be mindful of that. Depending on the vegetation you're burning and what quality of burn is done, this will affect how quickly a plant grows back. The torch is rated for up to 500,000 BTU which makes working over an area somewhat quick. A 10 foot by 10 foot area usually takes around 10 minutes. If you're working around areas such as trees, shrubs or even grass such as here, water can be applied to the vegetation so you don't damage it. 
Keep in mind that the heat does travel upward, so it can damage anything above the flame area. The torch can be set at a lower setting, then direct the torch away from the area you don't want damaged, and follow through with pushing it away. Here's a view after three weeks. No burning was done in between the first time and now. As you can see, there is no vegetation popping up. The area is still clean. When done with the torch, burn off the propane and line and wait for it to cool down before putting it away. Another view after six weeks and you can see the odd plant popping up. This will give you an idea of how long this form of vegetation control lasts. There is some vegetation popping up and this is most likely due to the heavy rain we've had lately where the seeds are washing off from adjacent properties. For spot burning, a small handheld torch can be used which screws onto the propane tank. Make sure the valve is off before connecting with the torch. This does have a right-handed thread. Open the valve at the lowest setting, then use a striker to light the flame. A shield can be used. I'd recommend using a round piece of metal tubing to contain the heat so it doesn't damage any surrounding areas. For this, I have a small 2.5 inch diameter exhaust pipe, although the pipe I have here is too deep as it cuts off the flame. I'd only recommend a piece of pipe that is 2 to 3 inches in height. The pipe will be hot after it's exposed to the flame, therefore use interlocking pliers to pick up the pipe and move it to the next area. This has more of a concentrated flame which works great on individual plants and can achieve up to 1000 degrees Celsius or about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Burn the center of the plant and seeds if it does have any. This can be used on any type of soil, between paving stones, gravel, etc. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.